Local Olympic athlete made a triumphant return home today, and he came back with some hardware. Yeah, Noah Lyles is now a bronze medal winning track and field star. He competed in his first Olympics in Tokyo this summer. Now he's working to inspire others to achieve their goals. He spoke to students at his high school in Alexandria tonight and is sharing his personal struggles with mental health. It's great. Noah Lyles returns to his alma mater, Alexandria City High School. Uh, it's still nice to come back with something. He competed in the Olympic Games for the first time and won a bronze medal in the men's 200 meter track and field race. When you do get to that great moment and you get to celebrate, you want to celebrate with people who know your journey, who know your story. He shares his story at a community meeting in the auditorium, explaining the struggle he faced with mental health. Uh, of course, I've been on and off uh, antidepressants and just dealing with depression and anxiety about all my life, but really a lot in these last two years. He says the postponement of the Tokyo Games and the murder of George Floyd hurt because it hits so close to home you know as athletes a lot of people forget or don't even think that you know we're human susan jackson listened and appreciates noah's honesty a lot of people including me deal with mental health issues and especially when playing sports you're looked up to so it's really nice to have him explain that it's okay to have troubles and it's okay to not be okay Noah and his brother will continue to raise awareness about mental health with their nonprofit organization, the Lyles Brothers Sports Foundation. We're telling everybody we can about mental health because we believe that you should also just as well check your mental, you're going to check your body, you know, that's very important. In Alexandria, I'm Shamari Stone, News 4. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health issues, we invite you to open the NBC Washington app. Our Changing Minds initiative includes a list of local resources and organizations that can help.